Hey guys, um, JDogFan100 here again for more survival. Let's do this! And if I'm randomly talking to any anybody, I'm talking to my friend Patrick on Xbox, I'll put his ch I'll put his channel in the description and go subscribe to his punk ass. But um, yeah guys. Uh, let's let's Oh! He has a hat! He has a hat! I want that skeleton's hat! Skeleton, give me your hat. Ow! Cactus! Give me your hat! Give me your hat! Give me your hat! Give me your hat! It's not butter, but I still want your hat. Bitch! Didn't give me his hat. Alright. I wanted his hat, Patrick. Uh, dude, I'm still getting used to freaking um, PC Minecraft. <laughs> Cause after, yeah, after playing it on Xbox for so long, you know, it, like, mobs are a thousand times harder on this one. Oh, shit, hey. Because, because the closer you get to skeletons, the faster they shoot. Like, for example, I'm about to die right now. Oh, oh my god, have a heart, have a heart. Stop, ew. Bag it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that word on YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube, if I offended any gay people out there. Um, Patrick's not... Pa pa Patrick's not gay, I don't think. But, you know. I kind of wish you guys could hear him, just because he's... Such a douchebag. I can say douchebag if I want. Dude, I use the term douchebag freaking in all of my videos almost. I use it a lot on here. Dude, I invented hell. <laughs> dude, this, this com dude, this conversation is probably going to end up pissing so many people off. <laughs> No, guys, I was not implying that I am God. Was I? Yeah, I was. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm... But I'm not gay, so why, why would I want to do that? Well, now they do. You guys, look at my Steve. I'm beautiful. <laughs> dude... I have freaking arrows all over my body. It's so funny. Ooh, steak. I have steaks. I didn't realize I had steaks. I... Dude, I really wish they could hear you. That would be so funny. Oh, cool. I successfully made a bow. What the hell? Who just joined? Did somebody just join the party? Oh. I, I know, but it sounded, I thought I went crazy. I'm going to hell. Hey everybody, I'm going to hell, apparently. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, what's good? What's been going on? Um, let's see. I'm commentating with my viewers, asshole. Oh shit. <laughs> you guys, Patrick is a racist. You guys, Patrick is a racist. Don't subscribe to his channel. I I'm just <laughs> You racist son of a bitch. <laughs> um you guys, but I, I will actually put Patrick's YouTube channel in the in the description below. Just cause he's my bro, and and he only has eleven subscribers, so I have twice of I have twice what he has, so yeah, I have uh, like twenty two subscribers, I think. <coughs> I have about like twenty something videos up though, so it took me a little while. But I mean, you had have more viewers that I had at that time point. 
but um yeah so his information and shit is gonna be in the the link below I might put his phone number on here just to be a douchebag you guys call you guys call him up and tell him <laughs> I'm not gonna say that <laughs> Who's yours or theirs? Your tits, your tits or their tits? What about mine? Mine too. <laughs> Dude, like, the people watching this is either going to be laughing or I'm going to get friggin' unsubscribed. <laughs> They're going to be like, um, this isn't real much. <laughs> I only listed two retards. <laughs> You're, oh my god. Dude, I ripped one in one of my other videos. I swear to god if it ended up being on the cam, like, on the video. <laughs> it was loud. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe if I'm... Oh, I don't have any editing software. <laughs> I don't know which ones to get. Like, I don't know any good ones. What you buying, nigga? Uh, dude, yeah, I still have a bunch of them. <laughs> Believe it or not, I still have a bunch of them. Mine are freaking. I can't. Mine are in, a, in my closet in a box somewhere. I don't think they sell them anymore. Like eBay and stuff, yeah, but. I don't think they I don't think they sell them in stores anymore. Cause I was in Walmart the other day with, cause I was in Walmart with my little brother um, the other day, and we was down the toy aisle or whatever, and I was just looking just out of curiosity of where it would be at, and I didn't see any. It went out of style for sure, but I mean. You no, know, you never know. You figure some people would still want them. Yeah, I'm. I actually have a bunch of them with like the code and shit on there, but I could never get like the online game figured out. It was so confusing once you got like in the lobby and shit. Oh, I was. I was like a big nerd about it and everything. Dude, I, I had some pretty powerful ones, too. I was whooping ass. Yeah, but you got some of your powerful ones from me, though. I can, No, I, I, we traded a couple of them, and you got a couple of good ones from me. I remember that. Um, I'm thinking of finding some Facebook pages and stuff of people who are, like, into that shit. And, uh, selling them. Oh, and if you guys want to add me on Facebook. Um, hold on. If you guys... Nigger, shut up. <laughs> For a second. If you guys want to add me on Facebook, um... I'll put all that info down below. Um, along with if you guys want to follow me on Twitter. I don't ever get on that shit, but I'm just saying... good point. Um, Patrick did just bring up a good point. If you do want to be my friend on Facebook, um, you know, PM me for it. PM me for my information. Um, I can't promise I'll get, you know, I can't promise I'll give it to you, but, you know, I might if you're lucky, you know. And I will probably make a Facebook page where um, it's my YouTube channel. So you guys could go on that if, you know, you please. But you know, whatever.
Oh shit, I hit bedrock. <laughs> damn. Dude, my whole freaking dig down here, I didn't find a damn thing. Sucks. But I'm at bedrock, so I mean, it's a slight chance I might find some diamonds or something. Ooh, that reminds me, I have TNT. There's uh, some traps on PC. And the traps is a pressure plate rig trap inside of a pyramid, and there's four chests. So you kind of got to, you know, take a chance. You know what I'm saying? And, and I actually found a way around it by digging and shit. I kind of cheated, I guess. But, oh, well. But, um, anyways, Patrick, I don't remember which ones I have, you know, but I have a bunch of them from, like, Generation 1 and everything. And, you know, if you, if you wanted to buy some of them, I'll give you, I'll find them, and I'll give you a nice bundle deal, dude. Because, you know, I, I got a whole load of cards for them, and just a bunch of shit. I have to find I ha I have to find them though. That that that'll that'll be my you know one thing is me having to find them. Um, some of them I'm not willing to part with. You know, some of them I am, because some of them are actually kind of hard to find, especially the ones that were like character based and in their right element and everything. You know, some of those were hard to find, and a lot of those I do have, and a lot of them are strong as hell too. But anyways, uh, oh yeah, believe it or not, I, the ones that weren't stolen from me or, you know, traded away, I still have. Like a lot of my old, like I said, generation one. Shit, I died. I lagged. I think so, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I don't think you got, I don't think we traded though. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's the only downside, downside to those things is they're extremely, like, breakable. Oh, that, that bitch has my iron sword. No. No. That sucks. And he has my boots. No. Damn it. Ah! Come on, sprint. Shit. I, I just got my ass whooped by a spider. Um, yes. I'm on PC. Oh, I'm commentating right now. Patrick, as much as I don't want to use my butter, I'm going to have to use my butter. I have to make a butter sword and kill a zombie. Then again, I have a wooden sword. I'll, I'll go... Whoop. See? Actually, the butter sword's a little bit better, but its durability's a little less than the butter sword. I mean, than the wooden. Blech. And the shitty part about PC Minecraft, zombies can pick up your weapons and shit. Yeah. No, no, it's not. Okay. The bit. Iron. Freaking zombie, dude. He picked it up, and I was like, oh my god, I totally forgot they could do that. Bitch had my boots, too. He somehow put my boots on. Do I really? Sorry. Do I do I still? Do I still? Hello? Friendship? Um oh and any of you guys watching this once it's uploaded or whatever. Um if any of you guys are slipknot fans or and are into collecting <coughs> the masks and whatnot, I have and are still am still? Are still? Whatever. 
Anyways, uh, sculpting and fixing to mold the Paul Gray Iowa mask. So if you guys want one of those, it's uh, fifty dollars shipped to the U.S. only. Now, if you want one and you live outside of the U.S., um, it'll be fifty dollars plus shipping. Um, they are blank and whatnot, so you know, just a thought to put out there. But anyways, Patrick, yeah, dude, I have no problem, you know, selling it to you. I won't charge you no crazy-ass amount, either. You know, I won't charge them cheap, because... Do you have, like, a goddamn bank account or something? Do you really? Shit, I need to get me one of those. i just been, like, bumming off my mom's bank account. But, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I have a strong feeling I know where they're at, um, I know they're in a bag, like, a green bag in my closet, so, you know, that actually helps me a lot, too, knowing what they're in, so if I could find them easily, then, you know, you know, and I'm not gonna, go ahead, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sell them to you for, you know, super duper cheap either, because those damn things were expensive. Yeah. I'll give you a decent price on them, though. I did. I really did. Because, like, I would always, like, whenever I would get them, I would always try and aim to get the good ones. Like, I would actually move a lot of the packs from the front. I would take those out of my way and look around the back. Just because that's where, you know... Because you know the freaking store workers knew what some of them, like... Knew the difference between the rare ones and the, you know, the common ones just because of what you would see in the pack. You know, you could have, you know five or six of those of a certain kind and you know in you know six or seven packs and then only have one of them you know one or two of those within you know the whole shipment how's that <laughs> Well, well, back then I didn't either. I, I would get my mom to buy them for me. Be like, Mom, please. You know, how little kids do. And <laughs> I could see, like, your mom telling you that, too. I don't even know your mom, either. And that's pretty damn... Funny. Damn it. Damn it. But yeah, dude, I'll give you some kind of deal on them, just because I don't want to like get you to buy them from some, you know, some nerd on the internet that'll probably overcharge you. But I'll let you know which ones I am willing to sell and which ones I'm not. Like, some of them even on, like, the Facebook groups and everything, if I find if I find one or whatever. You know, even then I won't sell some of them, just for, like, the whole memories reason. And what's awesome is whenever I would, like... Kyle Plaisance was the one faggot I would always, um, you know, duel or whatever... Battle, whatever the hell you called it. I was a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan too, so I still am, dude. I I catch I catch the original show every now and then on TV, and when I do, I get like really freaking fan girly and excited. <coughs> I'm actually 
I'm actually trying to get back into it a little bit more. Because there's like, there's like money inside of those hobbies. Whereas, you know, you find people who's willing to, how you find people who's willing to actually like battle you or duel you or whatever. So you put a little bit of money on the line. Oh, believe me, I know. Is it in Slido? Oh my god, I actually sold a large majority of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards there. Like, all of the ones that... Because I kind of fell out of the hobby a little bit. So I was like, you know, I, I won't really need these cards. I did keep one specific deck for myself, though. One specific deck, and then all of my rares. I wasn't letting that goddamn nerd... Oh, it happens. You know, for example... Uh-huh. Oh, that's sick. Holy shit. You sold them? That's awesome. See, I ha I still have... I, ha I have... I have an Egyptian God card. You know... See, now let me finish. Candace, remember how we were talking about her earlier? She has a whole bunch of oldies and shit that her sister gave to her. And so she was asking me if anybody, you know, if I knew anybody who, you know, was willing to buy them or whatever. And, you know, that's at the point where I decided, you know, hey, you know, I kind of want to get back in this hobby again. You know what I'm saying? It was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And, you know, <clears throat> you know, I'm sure I could probably find a few of my friends, you know, that would probably, you know, if they don't have any anymore, you know, I could always lend them some of mine that I collect over the years again. You know, that'd be willing to play. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if I let you, you know, make up a deck out of the cards that you know, I get in tax and everything that I'm not using, I'm sure, you know, you'd, you'd battle. You know what I'm saying? But, um, she has, listen, she has, listen, she has all three Egyptian God cards. Freaking, they looked pretty, in pretty decent condition, too. She has two blue eyes white dragons. And she has a couple other, like, holy shit cards. You know what I'm saying? Cards as in when you see them, you're like, holy shit, you know? And I told her, you know, I, at that point I was like, you know what? I'll buy them from you. How much? You know, and she was like, you know what? Because I'm like a big brother to her, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always there if she needs help or anything. And she's like, you know what? I'll just give them to you. I was like, oh, right? I was like, um, I will buy them from you. You know, I'm sitting there basically, shut up and take my money kind of thing. You know. Well, I straight up told her, I was like, no, you know, you don't have to do that. You know, I'll buy them. She was like, you know what, consider it a birthday present. I was like, fuck. I can't really, it's like, I can't argue with that. Shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I have, um, one, I'm, oh, and there's a Dark Magician in there. <clears throat> See, I have one, the one I have is, um, the one that was used, like, on the show, same graphics and everything on it, <sighs> and, you know, uh-huh. I actually got mine, you know, kind of late into the, you know, the years of collecting, too. And, you know, she has a bunch of good ones that she's going to be giving me. And I'm like, holy shit, you know, why are you not letting me buy these from you? If I'm not mistaken, I have two Blue Eyes in my, um, 
I'll, I'll call it my tournament deck too, because that's the only deck that I would ever use. But anyways, you know, in that deck, I'm sure I have one. But if not, she's giving me two, and I swear to God, I will go searching through packs again until I get another one. Because <laughs> I have a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon card. I mean, all depending on which ones. That it seems like a fair trade to me. It, you know, because you're, you're, you know, you're. Yeah, you're a bro, you know, I don't like taking my bro's money, you know what I'm saying, even if I'm selling something to him, you know, I'd much rather give it to him, but, you know, I'd understand if this was something a little bit different, you know, that I didn't ever really, you know, think would be worth anything to anybody, but, you know, all of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Not particularly um well I would have to watch a few videos and then I could get instantly kind of like familiar with it again I think the ultimate I think the ultimate rare ones is if it um is like holographic all over right yeah I I had I had a couple of those actually Yes, but I never owned one. Sick. Um, I, I want to tell you the ones that I kept for myself. Um, hold on. Alright guys, um, I'm just going to end this video here. Today was pretty productive, other than me dying. If you like this video, drop me a like. I will put uh, Patrick's channel in the description. Again, subscribe if you want to see more to this video series. My goal is to get to the end. Um, this has been episode three. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.